Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today is Freaky Friday, the 13th of November. Hope everybody had a good week. Uh, before we jump into the alerts or the market, a few announcements I wanted to make. Uh, first of all, I wanted to show you guys a little behind the scenes of our new trading platform. So if you've been in the day trading room, you've seen this. We've been displaying this uh, on the on the chart side. But uh, really excited to roll this out. It's, uh, you know, I mean, obviously the chart's pretty clean, very nice. This is just how we have done it in the day trading room. We've got our different stocks that we watch uh, with, the, with the different indicators on the board. So that's been pretty cool. Uh, but there's so many cool features that that you, you're going to love about this once we roll out. And the best thing, zero commissions on stocks and options. So can't wait for that. I uh, can't give you a time frame yet, uh, but we are working on it. And to give you an idea, we'll, we'll be rolling it out in phases. So the first phase will be for day trading because that's just it's simple. It's already it's already uh, we've already kind of built that part in. So that'll be the first uh, we're currently working to uh, working on the analyze tab. So something similar to toss where you can view the risk profile graph. Uh, that's going to be kind of phase two. So our, our core portfolio part will will be more phase two of that. But uh, really excited about this. There's some there's some other automation and things built in that you guys are going to absolutely love. So can't wait to share that with you. Uh, the other thing is the you know we used to we used to use the Mighty Network platform for our Trade Hacker community, and the engagement was awesome. Right, everybody was in, making making trade ideas, posting idea, posting questions, and and there's just a lot of engagement. We switched over to the new forum style. Uh, platform and, and the engagement really just fell off, and I'm not 100% sure why that is. Uh, I know it's just it's not as engaging, it's not as intuitive. Uh, the other one was more a little bit more like a social media slash community type platform, and so we I really want that engagement back because I think it brought a lot of value to to you all as the members, and so we've been looking at this additional community. And the reason we, we got away from ID Networks is because we couldn't do any kind of automation. Posting the alerts and all this stuff is all manual on our end, on the back end. And it was just, it was too much manual stuff. And so that's why we've switched over. The new one, it's all automated. So the alerts are posted, everything's kind of automatically done. And, but we want the engagement. And so uh, we're looking at this, uh, it's called Discord. Um, it's actually made for gamers originally, but uh, it's a kind of a community platform. If you've ever used Slack, it's very similar to that. You've got your channels over here uh, for, for day trading. We've actually got the live stream room built into the app, into the, into the platform. So we'll be streaming live directly from here and, the, and all the chat channels and everything when we can set up as many categories or channels as we want over here. You know, like earnings trades, posting your profits, mistakes. Uh, there's different bot capabilities, uh, all kinds of different stuff. We'll be posting the the alerts in here, uh, so they'll automatically be posted instantly right there. You'll be able to get notifications. The mobile app on your phone is phenomenal, uh, and so it'll be just a, a pretty cool upgrade. And I think I'm hoping it'll bring back the engagement from from you all. So. Looking forward to that. If you've had any, um, if you've had any experience with Discord, let me know, good or bad, um, because we will be uh, rolling this out pretty soon. Uh, we're gonna we'll do it initially for day trading because we stream live for the first ninety minutes, but then there's also some trades that extend past that, so I'll be able to post those in here uh, for the, for those day traders, and then. You know, if, if, if it goes well from that perspective, we may just make this uh, this platform our overall community as well and have the navigation alerts and, uh, you know, the chat and everything that, that you get in the other community, but uh, a lot better. So hopefully that is uh, hopefully you guys like that. Uh, with that, let's take a quick peek at the day trading. Uh, let's see, day trading. Where did I put the day trading? Um, well, I'm not sure where I put that window, but that's okay. I, I, if you want to, if you want to get a full recap of the day trading, here we go. Uh, I did a, a video on this mighty 90, just small green on the week, uh, end of the day, end of the week with a green day on the runners, uh, a small, small green on the runners as well. So it was really light this week, uh, on my trades as well as my buying power. 
and just didn't didn't feel it as well as I have uh, in a lot of other weeks. But so if I want to, if I look at this from a perspective of it was kind of a bad week of day trading, spe specifically Thursday. Thursday was kind of the killer, but um, a bad a bad week. But we still came out green, so that's a positive thing. Uh, I did a full recap in the day trading. Uh, recap video. So if you want to check that out, uh, you'll get an email or you can go to our Facebook page uh, to check that out. That's private Facebook group, Day Trading Options for Income. And then uh, let's jump into the alerts. So starting on Monday the 9th, actually, before we do that, let's let's take a look at, at the market. So after the election, uh, this market has just been on an absolute tear to the upside. I thought we were going to be hitting new all-time highs. We certainly did that in a very quick fashion. Uh, and, and, and in that instance of the market going up crazy and the uncertainty going out of the market, the volatility has just absolutely gotten crushed. If you look at VIX futures, they were at 36. Now they're at 23 just a, just a couple weeks later. So uh, we've we've held off on doing a a lot of new positions, so we're a little bit light on our overall positions by intent, uh, because I you know that this is kind of, this was kind of the assumption that after the uncertainty went away, that volatility would just get crushed. Now I didn't think it would get crushed this much this quick, but that's that's one of the reasons we've held off on adding a lot of new positions uh, here recently because we want we want volatility to kind of base out and maybe pop back up to start selling some premium and doing it, some other things. We'll continue to do more iron ducks. We may add in a, a little bit more directional trades. And the, oh, the other announcement I was gonna make is uh, our new Vertigo strategy. So that class is coming out on December 17th, 4 p.m. Central, mark your calendars. December 17th at 4 p.m. Central. We'll be sending out stuff, posting in the community, uh, give you a, a chance to sign up, save your spot, all that good stuff here in the, in the coming weeks. But I just want to give you that early announcement. And that Vertigo strategy, I've been trading the living crap out of it. It is phenomenal, both on stocks, on indices. I've been, I've been trading it uh, for overnight earnings trades. It's been phenomenal. So I can't wait to share that with you. It's, it's, it's quickly going to become a, a big part of our core uh, portfolio. Uh, it'll be a core portion of our portfolio is doing these Vertigo trades. So make sure you put that down. Make sure you don't miss it. Um, it's going to be it's going to be pretty unbelievable. So got a lot of exciting stuff coming your way. Uh, all right, let's jump into the alerts. Starting with Monday, uh, did an opening trade. I did a, a SPX weekly double calendar. We already had one on, so we added and we added another one. Uh, we took both of those off yesterday. Implied volatility was, like I said, collapsing, and and specifically between the front and back, uh, front and back week of our weekly double calendar. So we took those off. Booked like a hundred bucks on each. So so pretty small. But I didn't want to get caught in a, a massive crush, which we did see today. So it was a good choice. Uh, so that was our opening trade. We took that off Thursday. Uh, SPY, closing adjusting trade in SPY. So we closed out the put vertical side of our iron condor in SPY, left the call side on. And so we're looking for a little bit of a pullback to get back into range. Let's take a look at that. We've got two different pieces here. We've got, here's the one that we took off the put side. So you can see prices out of range here. We need a we need a little bit of a down move to get back into range. Uh, we're we're about we're a little less than one to one on our um, short delta versus our theta ratio. Uh, so I wouldn't mind leaving this on just to get a little bit more short delta uh, after we've had this big run up. So if we get a little bit of a pullback, that'll benefit. But look at look at implied volatility. I mean the IV percentile is down to 32. IV rank down to 19. Implied volatility is getting crushed recently. Uh, so hopefully we get a little pullback on that piece. And then we also have another iron condor, which is pretty well centered. We're up a hundred and some dollars on this, just waiting for some more time to pass on that one. Next trade, uh, rolling adjusting trade in DIA. So this is one of our short call verticals in DIA. So just rolling that out from Nove to Dees, uh, extending duration, keeping that short Delta in our portfolio. Let's take a look at DIA. Uh, you can see prices pretty close to where we rolled it, right inside range there. Next trade, opening trade in SPX, we did an iron duck, did this one with 15 days to expiration. 
Um, hoping for a little bit of a pullback. I'd like to get some price to the downside, a little bit of expansion and implied volatility to add another one. But we'll be doing, we'll be adding some more ducks here. Uh, so like, let's take a look at that. Um, that's our weekly double calendar. Here is our duck. You can see we're up about 75 bucks. It's uh, with the up movement in price. It's run up the beak a little bit. Uh, still got a decent chance we could get back to the duck head. So we're going to hold this for now. Apple rolling dusting trade. So another one of our short, uh, short delta uh, plays. This is a long put vertical. Same thing. Rolled this from Nov to Dees. Extending duration, keeping that short delta in our portfolio. Apple is actually down a little bit today with the market up, but pretty close to where we put it on inside range or pretty close to where we rolled it just inside range there. Closing trade and SPX. So these are our two weekly double calendars that we closed out. I just mentioned, and then we opened up another one in the next cycle with, uh, with the front week of eight days, back week of 11 days to expiration. Uh, so let's go back to SPX and take a look at that again. So uh, just off center uh, of our of our uh, profit tent here. So uh, just waiting. We'll take this off next Thursday or Friday, depending on where price is, where volatility is. Uh, we'll take that off next Thursday or Friday. If 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 price isn't dead centered, we'll probably add another one of these on Monday as well. We we've been liking to get you know at least one, sometimes two of these on per week, and so we'll see where price is uh, next week, and, and we may jump into another one. IWM rolling adjusting trade. This is another one of our short delta plays. This is a long put vertical. Again, rolled from Nov to Dees. And uh, to keep that short delta in our portfolio, let's take a look at IWM. We just did this, so it's you know it's gone up a little bit today, but again, just uh, just inside of our range. And that's it. So pretty light on the alerts. Like I said, we've we've been pretty light on adding new positions, but I'm hoping next week. We'll be able to start loading up a little bit more. Let's take a look at some of our other trades. We've got another long put vertical in ES. Now this one's way out of range. Oops. This one's way out of range. And so we are just, we're just holding it. We're gonna, we'll roll it next week. Uh, just hoping for a little bit of a, a bounce back down to the downside before we do that. Natty Gas, uh, we've got a nice profit in here since we rolled this one up about 900 bucks since our last roll. Uh, one more, one more roll, and we should be back to profits in our Nat Gas trade. We we battled a huge move in Nat Gas, and so we've just been rolling, adjusting, staying mechanical, and uh, battled our way almost back to profitability in that one. Same thing with ZB in bonds. Uh, bonds were actually up, but uh, up earlier, so we were up a little bit more on this. But we are currently up a little over 1,300 dollars since we did our last roll. If we can get a move higher in bonds and roll this one more time, we should be back to profits in bonds as well. I, I think I'll have to double check my my uh, my tracker, but uh, doing good there. Uh, Apple, uh, I mentioned that one. We've got this long put vertical. DE, we've got this one. It's it's well out of range as well. This one's already in DEES, so we've got plenty of time here. So we're going to hold this for a little bit longer, see what happens, and then we may uh, roll or close this one. Uh, next week. It does have earnings coming up, which we plan to hold through earnings. Uh, but we're, you know, I mean, John Deere's been on such a run. We're looking for some downside. So I like having this as part of our short delta. Uh, QCOM. So this is a post earnings trade that we did. We just bought a long in the money call uh, here. It, it pushed up. We almost got out here. I was waiting for a little bit more and then it right at the open and then it fell that day. Uh, and fell a little bit the next day, but then popped right back up. And so I'm still looking for a break above this high. These are all-time highs. I think that uh, next week we should get a little bit of a push up there, and we'll we'll close this one out. We're, we're we've got uh, we're pretty much at break even on the trade right now. So hopefully we get a little push up next week, and we can book a profit on QCOM. SMH. We've got this adjusted strangle. You can see price is a little bit out of our range here, but if you look at the put side. Still got a decent amount of premium in those, so not quite looking to roll those puts up yet. Uh, if it does continue a little bit higher, we'll roll those puts up. Uh, we are in the D cycle of 35 days, so we would most likely just stay in Ds uh, uh, and roll those puts up. SPX, SPY, and lastly, XLK. 
So this one's uh, another short vertical or another long put, another short delta position that's out of range. So we will be looking to roll this one. This is in Nove. So we're just kind of spreading out our rolls in these uh, short delta pieces uh, and we'll roll that uh, next week. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great weekend and we will catch you next week. We'll be streaming live in the day trading room Monday through Thursday next week. So the only day where we won't be streaming live is Friday. So we'll be there at the open uh, Monday through Thursday. Look forward to seeing you then. If you guys have any questions, let me know.